And now for a Buki's Pinocchio impression. <laughs> Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial! Do we have to hear the rules every time? Cause I really don't care. We should discuss that game first, seeing as it is the motive. Oh my god, still don't care! But you should, because some of you are characters in it. Characters in a video game? That's preposterous! Well, at least we're not characters in a low-budget anime parody! But who were the characters? Seriously? They're right there on the staff credits. Fine. It was Mikan, Ibuki, Hiyoko, Mahiru, Fuyuhiko, Fuyuhiko again, and whoever Seito is. I was girl C. As in, see you next Tuesday. Damn. Damn! Actually, Fuyuhiko wasn't in it twice. But his little sister was in it. Huh? She's dead, brah. Huh? Let's leave that for now and get back to solving the mystery of the game! I'm so bored! After the mystery of the game had been solved... So Fuyuhiko's sister was the first to be killed. Then, Fuyuhiko supposedly killed her for revenge. Also, Mahiru tried to cover up for the first killer, and that's why Fuyuhiko killed her just now. Stop saying that I'm the killer, dammit! It obviously was you. No one but a piece of worthless Yakuza trash would commit murder. Perhaps Fuyuhiko isn't the killer. After all, there is no evidence of him being at the crime scene. But there is evidence of you being there, Hiyoko. Huh? <laughs> but... but... I couldn't have been there. I was killing ants all day. No, that's wrong. He's right, Hiyoko. You left footprints in the sand after you left the beach house. I went there during my morning walk. Oh, okay. That's obviously a lie! Huh? Uh, a lie? Yeah, sometimes people lie. Oh, okay. I saw you fleeing the beach house earlier when me and Kazuichi were scouting for babes. I mean, uh, we were having lunch! She must have been hiding in the closet at the time of the murder. Huh. Actually, no, it isn't Hyoko. She's too much of a coward to be the killer. See, I'm a nice person, really. It's okay, Hyoko. We believe you. Shut up, Pig Barf. Ah, I'm sorry for being Pig Barf. So if Hyoko isn't the killer, then who is? Well, I know that Furuhiko is acting weird. I'm telling you, it was Hyoko. But I get the feeling that it was someone else. But where could the killer have been hiding? Most likely the closet. But is it possible that the killer was able to fit Hiyoko and themselves into such a tight space? More importantly, were both Hiyoko and the killer able to fit in the closet? Hey, Monokuma, can I ask you about something that seems strange? Why, yes, Nagito! One of the male characters from 999 did have a girl's name! Okay, from this point on, you're all banned from making references to Spy Chunsoft games. Does the body discovery announcement include the killer as well? No one cares what you have to say, Nagino, so stop talking unless you want your face covered in blood! Wait... Covered? As in what? Now he gets it. I think I know who the killer is. You do? The killer would've had to clean the blood off of them after committing the murder. Since the shower was out of action, they would have had to use bottled water instead. When we were at the diner, Pekko showed up wet. That's right! And she was covered in water too! Kazuichi, cut out the gross remarks. Uh, hold on! It's too soon to decide that Pekko's the killer. We still don't know how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Why are you covering for her? Do you love her? Ooh, I know! Maybe Pekko escaped out the window by using her sword as a step stool. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Shit. We got it, right? But Pekko has no motive. She wasn't even in Twilight Syndrome. Ah! I'm a scary, wacky serial killer! Sparkling justice! Man, I love me some justice. You should all totally kill yourselves and let me live. Enough already! Let's start the vote!
Please wait. There's still something I'd like to discuss. But we just had the vote and you were right. It was Peko. We're done, Kay. But the thing is, everything I read about Sparkling Justice was in a Spanish magazine, which means that Sparkling Justice is actually... Norwegian?! Shit. Peko, what is the meaning of this? I... am a tool. Well, I'm glad you were able to finally come to terms with that. I tried telling you guys earlier, but someone else was there in the beach house at the time of the murder. It wasn't me, alright? It was you, wasn't it? Yeah... So you were wrong. I was merely a tool that my young master used to kill Mahiru. So all that's left is to let Monokuma decide if I should die, or if all of you will die. And that concludes our presentation of Danganronpa 2 Para! Ha! <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pago gets executed instead. Goodbye everyone, and please, don't kill anyone else while you're on this island. I have a feeling that everyone's going to ignore that last part the second we get out of here. Pago, I... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I never needed you as a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! I just... needed you. Don't leave me! Y young master So touching. It's punishment time! Haha, <laughs> you dick. Hey, you know that she'll probably be okay in this scenario. She is the ultimate swordswoman after all. Uh, I should learn not to question these things. Peko! I'm coming! Ah! Bitch! That was my eye! Ah! Peko and Fuyuhiko? What a waste. Their hope was supposed to transcend the human soul. Now look at it. But it'll be alright, because this despair is a ladder to an even greater hope! This is the beginning of a shining new hope that will rhyme the darkest of despairs. All oh, praise, Hope Jesus. Nakito, shut the fuck up. Two of our friends, who we've only known for about two days, yet we talk about them like we've known them for years, have just died. Not quite. Fuyuhiko is still alive. He is? We can rebuild him. We have the technology. But I can't actually do anything since I'm a rabbit. Monokuma, can't you do it? Fine, fine. I'll take him to the hospital that I've already got set up for some reason and get him fixed! For my tears, what a mournful sight. But we must endeavor to strive towards the dawn like an arrow of light in the dark. For the love of God in the episode already! Okay.